Good morning, Karen. Hi, everybody. I've gotten the emails about how the, the camera is buffering. And I've also gotten emails from the camera people saying that they're inputting new code or some gibberish. So hopefully the webcam will stay up and stop buffering. Sorry about that. And trimming is scheduled for later this week or early next week. So there'll be less green, more pink. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, everybody. Happy day. Rhett's helping clean the pond over here. That's what he thinks he's doing. It's a beautiful wing Wednesday and a silly Rhett Wednesday. so helpful. Yay, good. I'm glad the camera is good. I've gotten a few emails about this powder puff being overgrown and I know from up above it's a pain, but it's such a great nectar source. It's really hard to trim it. The butterflies love this, but we're gonna do something, something with this. Maybe move this a little bit like that. Let's see the gazebo a little bit more if we do. We'll just train it, move a little bit. And Scarlet's over here making her own joy. The world gives you a drain that doesn't function properly. Play in a puddle. Yeah! It's a fun puddle! It's not an architectural fail. It's a fun puddle! <laughs> it's a very brave dove. Like, I want a drink. You're playing there, it must be fun. Keeps coming back for more. <laughs> Cindy, you haven't given us a count lately. Are you still on your hundred and that hundred thousand days of working out or did your stomach bug get you down? <laughs> Happy Wing Wednesday. There's a little quail. Hi little quail. You have wings. You just choose not to use them very often. No, that's, it's a really something for Rhett to leave his supervising duties. Scarlett must have been saying how awesome that pond, the little mini pond was. Rhett doesn't often leave Anastasia when he's making sure she's cleaning properly. I love it when Scarlett does this. She does this quite often at Flamingo each night and I call it poop roulette. It's round and round she goes. Somebody's gonna win. Who's it gonna be? That little guy, Marnie, that was over there, a little Chinese button quail. That pond too. Oh, there comes your friend. That's the one that looks bluey purpley when the light is better.
Good morning, Sandra. You guys still getting weather up there? It's never really arrived here yet. We got a 30 second rainstorm the other day. But no, nothing. No big rain. Two hundred and seven days of exercising. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Good job. I'd made it almost that long without exercising. And then that bubble truck made us to the stairs the other day. Broke my streak. Lisa Z, good morning. Lots of rain in Bradenton today. Maybe we'll get some then. We need some rain. We'll get here in a couple days, maybe. Don't they get dizzy? No, not often. I've seen Scarlett do this for like 10 minutes or so at Flamingo and then she'll stand up. <laughs> stand up and she doesn't act dizzy, but she kind of acts like, huh. I forgot y'all were here. She, she looks like, oh, people. So into it. I forgot. Yeah, Jill, your preheat walk at 0600 is probably like our preheat walk. I was packing artwork this morning out on the front porch at 4.45 a.m. because I was going to beat the heat. And then I had to change clothes because I was so sweaty through. Enjoying the not hot 100% humidity. <laughs> the safety sign is over here. You guys, it's Wing Wednesday. You wanna go look for some other wings? Wanna go look? We could go on a walkabout. Scarlett's not going anywhere. She's found her joy. Hi, buddy. Buddy, this doesn't work with me. Something new? Something exciting? Shopping hints, Barbara. Good question, Barbara. There is a lot of shopping this week. I'm a little scared. We're so organized, have everything out and ready to go for tomorrow. I'm a little terrified we're gonna be jinxed and there'll be no internet or something. But we have the new custom fancy pants that are butterflies on top and flamingos on the bottom. We have three different t-shirts, one of which is the one I've been waiting for months for that I love so much. It's a ladies cut shirt and it has a 
bumblebee on it on the front and it says she works hard for the honey i love it love it love it love it you're gonna need she works hard for the honey it's awesome and the ladies cut is really nice <laughs> then we have two other oh. kinds of shirts one of which you guys have seen because i was I took my cut off the top last week and I was wearing it after I spilled coffee on me for the third, third wardrobe change in one day. And let's see, what else do we have back there? Oh, new cups, new ceramic mugs. One that has a rooster on it. It says rise and shine. New books, ooh, lots of new books. New books split pretty evenly between grown-ups and kids books. Educational and fun. There is a lot to explore this morning. Anastasia's over here making more pond square footage by trimming, throwing over the fun stuff. Yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna have all kinds of great stuff on the shopping, shopping, shopping at 8 a.m. We'll be shopping live here and then we'll be having the actual sale at keywestbutterfly.com. Yeah. Ooh, leaves. We haven't ever played with leaves before. On purpose. Oh, so exciting. Good morning, Susan, and your doctor. Anastasia, all that time we were looking for enrichment toys. Could have just had a leaf. Brett's claimed those. <laughs> Scarlet's coming after you. She doesn't want the one you left her. She wants all the others. Oh, she's telling you. I played with her puddle earlier. She didn't like me playing oh, with her. No. Oh, no. Oh. She's having a super independent week. She doesn't want a flamingo with Rhett near her. She, she's going to poop on your shoes because you touched your leaves. You don't know how to do it. No, I'm not right. I don't do it. No. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. We should have a whole day of how to impersonate a flamingo. Everyone would have their own thing. Brett saying good morning to Wendy. Scarlet saying, excuse me, less of that. <laughs> it is a beautiful wing Wednesday. It's a wacky Wednesday. Everybody's being funny. Well, hello there, Endora. Nice of you to show up. 
A day late, but good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Look at this. Yes, hi. You have, you have sand on your beak. Oh, look, there's Casper. Did you see feathers today, Anastasia? What's that? Did you see feathers? Were there feathers this morning? I found one or two. I think it's a very slow start to us more. Yeah. Yeah. It's late and slow. Yeah. Woo, wow. Do you guys see that on the webcam? That little finch flew in between me and the camera. It ruffled my eyelashes. So whatever this is over here, it's coming along, it's getting taller and taller. I saw Mama Duck over here making googly eyes at herself last night. That's now just two and a half feet high. Wings. Wow, there's lots of wings in here now. We do. Amy says, do you have a world map thing on the wall with butterflies from their home? We do. It's in the Learning Center. Since today's Winged Wednesday, we'll go... I don't have my keys with me. We'll make a circle and I'll show it to you at the end. Have you seen the white Morpho flying yet? No, I haven't. I saw one not flying. La 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 la, Lisa, but I have not seen one flying yet. But they're really hard to see once they're in the air. How old are Rhett and Scarlet? They are nine years. Cindy says I wasn't on yesterday. Scarlett is actively working on a nest. Well, I'm trying to be a realist this year, but she's actively working on a thing over here, a big pile that could be a nest. She has spent a lot of time working on it. Look, everybody, lots of wings. Thank you all.
Java Rice King. You guys have found all oh, look at that acrobat. I'm telling you that guy's looking to go pro. That's like Vegas style. What's that one Cirque du Soleil show in Vegas where they have the huge fishbowl in the middle and the, the ladies hang down on the spinning wheel thing? That guy's trying to be that person doing that thing. <laughs> That's very talented. Good job. Have we named the new finches? No, I think you guys are working on names. We need our secretary, Jill, you putting together, you and Deborah work together on the list. Deborah sent me a short list. You just, it's the official census. You guys decide on names for the new finches. But he's playing nice. Look at that. We have the new Gouldians, some of the Java Rice gang, and a little chubby friend Snowflake is in there, right in the middle of the food dish. Good job, buddy. It's like the dessert station at the buffet. Yeah. Remember when we used to have the dessert cart that would drive around through the restaurant? sitting in the middle of the dessert cart taking a ride. Wow. That's exciting. Tracy just told us there's three new three green eggs there in that little house. That's exciting. Only been living here a little while and already making a family. This little snowflake. And finch. And dove. Aww. The feeding of babies is a little mm, intense. Yeah. Anastasia said that Mama's dove is over here feeding the babies. Hi, babies. You're not looking very baby anymore. You grow up so fast. Mama's not far. She's always making the, giving me the dove eye. The weather is so cute, kind of. Tail it just emerged. Not quite ready to fly yet. Oh, booger! Hi, buddy. I don't 
want Mama Dove coming over here, sitting on my head. One last look at the babies. Hi, guys. Oh, there's JJ making an appearance for Wing Wednesday. Better late than never. Woo! Bye, JJ. You guys have your keys on you. I need, I want to go backwards and I didn't bring my keys. I'll bring them right back. Well, not right back. Okay, we'll bring them back. Okay, we're gonna go this way and see all the wings we can see and then we're gonna look at that map that I said, told Amy we'd look at. Hi guys. You put all the good food out of the feeder. Yeah, that's a good question. Sally says, I wonder how many people would know where these names come from. I know. Only everybody who was walking here with, with me every day when we were closed. That's when all these names, everybody except Rhett and Scarlett and Josephine got named last year while we were closed. Hi. So we have a long list of names, but I don't know which one's which. When they're on screen, you guys will have to tell me who's, who's which one. This guy's easy to tell, but separate from all his friends, because he's double their size. A little, little bit round, fluffy. Yeah, Wally's around. He's been playing nice with his Java Rice family lately. Oliver Longtail's back to being Longtail. Casper and Shadow down there. The black fish down there is a Procostumus. That guy. You usually see them at the fish door, pets, pet store, fish store, whatever. They're a tank cleaning fish called a sucker fish and they're usually like that big. And he was that big when we put him in there. But that was 10 years ago or more. He's done a really good job of cleaning the tank. Now he's gotten big, big, big. They're in lots of home aquariums. And we sold aquariums here for a while. Then one day, they came. It came to be the day that we didn't have aquariums anymore. How many new finches are there to name? I think there's six. Josephine, I have seen her a lot during Flamingo lately. I haven't seen her out and about in the morning, but she's been on Flamingo Beach lately during Flamingo. Okay, there's goodbye to Winged Wednesday in the conservatory, but we're going to go through this door and I'll show you the map that Amy was referring to where all the different butterflies come from. It's in the learning center. the world map with where all the different butterflies are indigenous to. North America has quite a few. South America has more. 
all those beautiful morphos are from South America. There's a question to Vaughn's, and Vaughn's question that I could have just come in here and researched. Vaughn was asking about European butterflies. 12 of the world's 552 species of swallowtails are found in Europe. So yes, Vaughn, we do fly European butterflies. Butterflies occur all over Europe, except the subarctic zones of Norway and Sweden. Butterflies first got their name in Europe from the butter-colored butterfly. The name was later shortened to butterfly. Australia has a bunch. Asia has lots and lots and lots. Look at this chrysalis. So all stages of the life cycle are here on this milkweed. We have that caterpillar's going into J right now. A little bit longer to go in J and he'll be a chrysalis. And that's represented right there. The caterpillar and Sure, we can find some eggs on this here plant. There's lots of very hungry caterpillars. Look at that guy. No wings yet. Oh, not wing Wednesday appropriate, but it'll eventually have wings. Nope, it's not new. You just missed it, Amy. You have to plan another trip. You were speed walking through this room to get to the conservatory. As most people do, which is why your ticket is good the entire day. So you can come and go a bunch of times and eventually spend quality time in here watching the video and learning all about the life cycle of butterflies. Yes, Thursday shopping is happening tomorrow and we actually have stuff figured out that's going to be for sale. We have new fancy pants with pockets that are custom made for us with blue morphos and flamingos. We have new books, we have new t-shirts, we have new cups, mugs. Happy Winged Wednesday, everybody. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow morning for shopping at 8 a.m. And then we'll do our walk probably at 11. We're gonna shoot for 11. But we'll be shopping, shopping, shopping at 8 a.m. See y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank you for walking with me.